Hey there. Well, I just wanted to go on a little bit more about Sound of Freedom and what it got me thinking about. I think my last video about it was just too vague. I normally don't make review videos immediately when I get home from watching a movie. And, uh, I mean, it, it's not a terrible video, but I think I could have been a lot more detailed. So let me first say that it's not a religious movie. But there are the points where someone says, God's children are not for sale. The phrase, God's children, I think is said like three times through the whole movie. And that's a powerful message, particularly if you have a spiritual belief that revolves around the Bible or the Quran. If you're not religious, it just kind of sounds like a tagline, even though it's very serious in what it's saying. In this movie, they wanted us to see how terrible child trafficking really is, how it happens in the first place, and the idea that we can actually do something about it, you know, but we'd have to come together for this. But, you know, in contrast to the woke messaging that is sprinkled throughout most of uh, Hollywood productions, most modern Hollywood productions, and the things that they want the viewers thinking about, this is a radical step in a different direction. And you know what? It is kind of preachy, but not about religion. It's trying to make a point. The most preachy moment is something that's inserted in during the end credits. You know, it, just, it, it almost felt like one of those commercials where they're asking for money or something, right? They, they even encouraged people to get out their phones and take a, a, one of those QR codes, you know, off the screen. But again, they, they never preached religion. I expected them to, though. What I wasn't able to articulate very well in my off-the-cuff video was that there were just too many things that just seemed way too convenient for the story. He just conveniently met the right people at the right time, pushed a somewhat radical plan. I mean, they, they all came up with it, but, you know, they still came up with this somewhat radical plan. And then out of the thousands of kids who are trafficked, and all over that, that whole region, they knew just the place where that girl would be. In territories where nobody from the outside dares to go. By pretending to be a doctor? I mean, it might work, but in the way that it was put together kind of made me question the source material, even though it was supposedly based on a true story. I should probably research the real story some more, though. You know, after a certain point in the movie, it started kind of reminding me of a well-produced version of, you know, an episode from that 80s show Magnum P.I., the 80s version. But, you know, a well-produced 80s version, right? You know, better music for the soundtrack. I, I think that was, I think they did a good job on that. I just had to say that. But yes, it would help to have a religious kind of mindset when watching this movie. It would make it more enjoyable. It would make it more impactful. Just as having a religious mindset was helpful in the past, like, especially in the 80s, to enjoy horror films. You know, this movie certainly did not have the kind of impact on me that the makers of the movie intended. I'm probably an example of why they marketed it to the right. So again, you know, this movie didn't try to cram religion down my throat. But they did try to make it clear that children should not be for sale. You know, having said that, I think about this movie gets me, and then this whole subject gets me thinking about how child labor is used across the globe for products that are by American companies. So many of the products we regularly use. It's essentially U.S. companies supporting child slavery, really. There are a lot of horrible things being done to children across the globe. And I think it's good that movies like this bring the subject to the forefront. Even if it's just one particular side of, of what is done to children, you know? It's still bringing it to the forefront and getting the subject discussed. But still, I give the movie a 6 out of 10. I'm not going to give a movie extra points just because it's pushing a message that I think needs to be heard. Anyway, thanks for watching.